Minecraft, or not Minecraft, uh, World Edit. There you go. 1.18 World World Edit tutorial coming your way. <laughs> Here we go. Um, so first thing you have to do, make sure you have 1.18 actually installed, like you've hit play. Um, I have, so we should be okay. Um, but once you've done that, you're gonna also need to go ahead and probably find uh, 1.18 Forge. Um, uh, but you need to have it installed regardless. So let's go ahead and install the mod first. Um, and then let's find the forge. Um, so, oops, not 18. Uh, forge, uh, I spelled Minecraft wrong, cool. Uh, Downloads from Minecraft Forge. Files on Minecraftforge.net. Yep, that seems like the right place to be. All right, and then we go to the installer. Wait for the ads to go away. <laughs> Assuming you don't have an ad blocker, this is probably gonna be a lot worse for you. Um, skip that. All right, now, the fun part. So let's go ahead and throw these. You guys can see them over here. It's the desktop, we can get rid of that. And so, you open Forge. And yeah, we, we can just install it to the dot Minecraft. So something that I do once this installs, I'll show you here. So we'll go to the installations and um, we'll hit new installation in a bit. But what I like to do is after this installs, um, actually we'll probably have to restart the launcher. So I'll show you in a sec here, but Wow, this is really flying through them things there. Holy moly, look at it going. <laughs> All right, hopefully this doesn't take too long to install World Edit. But wanted to show you guys what it looks like, so. All right, should be installed. Let's go ahead and open, reopen the launcher here. So we gotta make sure that the jar is actually there. I like to restart the launcher just to make sure. You probably don't have to, but also you probably do. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, we'll go actually let's see if it's just chilling there for some reason. No, it isn't okay So we got new installation and then we go ahead and find 1.18 forge and what I like to do is I go and I create a folder for um, Every version of Minecraft in my documents folder um, Every new version and let me show you what that looks like. Let me find it really quick because I want to see all my all of my files uh, Pluto we need to go Documents, okay. So if I scroll down here, yeah, okay. There we go. You can see I have basically from 1.12 till like 1.18, obviously, no. Um, I just made that actually pretty recently. So we're gonna go ahead and do 1.18 and I am gonna create that and we're gonna actually, let's give this a fun something or another. So I know that this is, um, hmm, let's give it this, that seems right. Uh, 1.18 forge create okay and then we can go ahead and play that I understand thank you all right here we go let's hope this works um actually what I can try and do is once this loads we can open up that folder and we can try loading up some schematics I already have um actually yeah that's a perfect one to do I have one just sitting on my desktop right now and we can uh, so let's go to my 118 and let's see what happens once this loads. Let's see if it shows the files coming in. Actually, I hope it does. Yeah, there they are. I love it. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, I'm pretty sure we're in config. No, not config. Um, wait, where's the stuff? Um, is it logs? No. Is it mods? These folders, I think we have to wait till we actually load up a world or something here. Um, you can see that as the folders come in, that's really fun to watch actually. That's I've never seen that. I've never actually watched folders come in. It's like Minecraft is opening. Look at that. It just opened up the realms one because we were like, this is the first time. All right, let's make sure real quick. Uh, yeah, so we don't have, obviously, Oh, that might help uh, to put world edit in there. Uh, that would be the next step, duh. 
Okay, so yeah, we go into mods, and then we go ahead and throw, whoops, not forge, world edit into there. And boom, wow, that is, wow. Um, forgot about that. Don't need that right now, thank you. Okay, we got our own music for today. <laughs> Actually, I'm not sure if I'm even allowed to use Minecraft music, genuinely. I think I am, but like, I'm not 100% sure. This music, I'm much more sure of that I can use. Anyway, let's see if, uh, whoops, let's see if it loaded it. No, we gotta restart Minecraft. Okay, that's okay. So yeah, load in the, 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 <laughs> Load up Minecraft, then you gotta throw in jar, then you gotta go ahead, hit play on the forge, and hopefully once that jar is in there, we can actually play some world edit. So basically, here's the rundown of what I just did. All right, download jar for world edit, downloaded forge, opened forge, then I created a special folder to load up my uh, new forge world so i hit play all the folders loaded into my special folder then i had to quit it load in the jar into the uh the mods folder and then bada bing bada boom hopefully um it works but obviously it didn't here uh open latest dot log let's see nope that's not helpful at all to me open mods folder Okay, so obviously we seem to have come to a problem here. Yep, the mod did not work. So let me see. Uh, I'm gonna try something really quick. Um, so I need to find, actually what version was the, um, the forge? Um, Minecraft. Um, oh geez, hold on, how do I just get to my history or whatever? Uh, world edit, curse forge, that's, okay, let's see what it says on this really quick for the version. Oh, dang it, that's why. Is that, is that why? Because I searched 1.18 and it gave me 1.17. I think there is no world edit 1.18, I think I'm just dumb. Um, let me, let me, let me click on this video and see what they, if they have a link to another one. Um, what a weird link there. All right. Uh, world edit. Fabric, ABI, fabric. Oh boy, that's a little more, eh? All right, so it might be a little more, uh, a little more intensive unless this is a dot jar. Okay, maybe it should still work with Forge then. But I don't know if Forge is actually 1.18. Let me make sure that that was what we downloaded. Okay, yeah. So Forge.1.18, it does exist. Okay, so that is Forge.1.18. It's just that the world edit is actually 1.17, and I'm dumb. Okay, cool. Good to know. Uh, let's go ahead and delete that out of the uh, mods folder. And let's try to find the right jar for this really quick. If anybody has any... Uh, better spot that they know where it is, that would be great. But I think this is, okay, that's bucket, that's fabric, that's forge, okay. Uh, let's try this one, forge. Um, open mods folder, might as well, that'll help. Um, where did that just go, okay. I don't know why that isn't showing up on my desktop, but okay. Um, world edit forge. Okay, let's go ahead and quit Minecraft and try reopening it here with that new jar. Wow, this this new uh, launcher, by the way, takes so much longer than the old one. Just in general, it's just so, it's so frustrating. I, I think I'm gonna go back to the old one for a little while because. There's just something wrong with it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah. All right. Let's see if this one loads. <laughs> so hopefully this one's the right one. All right. Um, ooh, it 
looks like we're working. It might be. Uh, we definitely want creative. Allow cheats on. Okay. Uh, where is the flat world? Uh, generate structures off. World type super flat. Let's get rid of that. Uh, let's do 1.18 testing, so I can have that as a, uh, wait, what? Why did it change to, why? Did it change that when I went back? Okay, that was weird. Like, it cha It's clearly changed the creative, I changed the creative and then I went into the other setting and then went back and I was like, nah, you're in survival now. <laughs> Yes, I definitely want to be in survival in my flat world. <laughs> With just grass and bedrock. Alright, oh, we need to go in here. We need to, I need to copy my um, settings. But for now, um, let's just do, wow, this is weird. What is going on? Um, no, not mouse settings. Um, controls, yeah, wait, what? This is so much different. Okay, there we go. This is what I'm looking for. Holy crap. So weird. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted. Okay. Just, just, I just need it to be this button, not this button. Okay, not the scroll wheel. Um, though the scroll wheel button is a nice one. It's just not uh, as convenient to click as, as just using my thumb as a clicker and then being able to scroll at the same time, you know? Um. Yeah, the new one doesn't seem to be really finished. All right, well, we'll see what happens here. Um, all right, so let me go ahead, like I said I was going to do, and try to actually load in. Um, so I think we should be able to... Yeah, there we go. Now we have world edit in there. The world edit and schematics, and then we can throw in a copy of this into here. Paste. Okay. And then I need to... Is it just all pines? Okay. Uh, skim load all underscore pines. I think it is it a capital P or no? Yeah, it is. I think that matters sometimes, so we'll, we'll just make sure. All right, and then we go paste my say. Oh, ultimate testament there. Um, yeah, I really need to copy my um because I don't have my um whatever you call them menu bars task bar thingies. I can never remember what it's called. Whatever, I don't have that set. <laughs> um, and that's always annoying. But yeah, okay, that worked. So let's try let's try some, some more crazy stuff here. So Um Oh crap. Before I do that, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and restart Minecraft and show you guys a little trick here because this is something you should also do if you're using single player world edit, because it is sort of working. Um and anybody who's using this as a tutorial, um, if you have more than uh 16 gigs of RAM. If you have more than 16 gigs of RAM, or I guess if you have 16 gigs of RAM or more, I would recommend doing this. So you go into your installations, you go into for, uh, the Forge one, you go to edit, okay? Those three little dots, the, uh, and then edit. Um, and then you go into the little more options thing here. You scroll down to the bottom and you see this little two gigs. That's how much RAM Minecraft lets your computer use, or your computer lets Minecraft use, I guess would be the better way to putting it. Um, so, um, I recommend only using half of your RAM ever, okay? Do not ever use more than half of your RAM because you're going to be doing other stuff usually while you're playing Minecraft and using more than half of your RAM is just a bad idea unless you only have Minecraft open and you know you're only going to have Minecraft open and you know you just have a stupid amount of really good RAM sure you can crash your computer but yeah uh, i don't recommend going over half of whatever your ram is and for me i know that sounds like a lot but 32 gigs is what i can do so we're gonna do 32 gigs of ram for myself um and that is half of my ram yes on purpose um but yeah there's your little tutorial on how to install world edits um i might make a little uh clipper from it or something uh if i can um from the, the YouTube, um, but I wasn't hitting record, so we'll see. Um, 
I might download the the Twitch broadcast. Actually, that might be a good idea. Um, the one doesn't seem to be really finished. I mean, yeah, it's probably not going to work too too well either way here. But here, here we go. Um, single player, one point eighteen testing. Why is my thing not working? Okay, it's not letting me. There we go. Ooh, that's fun to look at. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, I don't know. 